Now, uh, today's topic is array object. Okay, we have already seen an array, right? So, how does an array <coughs> is declared? Like array name, okay, new array. So, this is a way of declaring an array. Array is like uh, is an entity, is a is a storage where we can store multiple values based on their indexes or indices. We can store multiple values. We have seen this 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 example in our uh, variables class. So if you guys feel like you're missing out something, just jump back to the variables class, JavaScript variables, and check in the videos that we have discussed already about arrays. Okay. So an array can be also be given like this array elements. So array elements are separated with commas. So now this means it has five variables in single variable. All right, each at an index like you know this is index zero this is index one this is index two index three and index four so by looking at this i can say what is the length of the array yes what is the length of the array by looking at the above array <coughs> yes zero to four length will length is not variable right length is fixed length is always fixed this index the index starts from zero and ends at what is the length the length is five there are five elements in the array so the length is five exactly right that's what i'm looking for okay so that's again uh, array also declared as array of name equal to new array and i give i can give my elements here okay so there's another way of declaring an array too like as i'm speaking about uh, indices okay i'll show you how each index is spent suppose this what does this mean what value does this has one and what is this has what is that value two four two or four i asked about four topic says four i don't know if it's two okay the answer is four because it says the value at index three that's three the value at index three so this is zero okay i just write down this is zero this is one this is two this is three and this is four okay these are the indices so what is number three Four. All right. So this is what we call at index t. So array arrays can be again given like this too. Like I, I instantiate. Okay. I instantiate. And then I, I can pass on this too. Like I can say I can declare an array like this too. Okay. So this is about array. So just like in strings, we can also manipulate the array data. Like you know, we can play with array data too. Okay. First, first, first case we'll see how to print an array. Okay. So before printing the array, I'll talk about one property here. Okay. That property is again length. So yesterday we have seen how do we find the length of the string? Guys, can remember about it? Any idea to find the length of the string? What is the property? To find the length of the string, you gotta be fast. Yes. What 
is the length of the string how do we find the length of the string no idea shall i go ahead okay always string object dot or oh, n minus 1 so what is n there i mean what what is the uh, I, i mean to say okay for instance how do i find it like i have a random string over there let's say two dos like or let's say a, a big sentence how do i find the length of it what is the formula let's say okay it's not formula but yeah what is that property which fetches me the length of my string oh come on yes you're close this is it using this i can find the length of the string like search length of the array instead of saying length of the array i'll say count okay so i can find the count count is nothing but the number of elements inside an array like how many elements does it in this case array name has five elements right so it, something like this array object dot length so this gives me the length of the or the elements inside my array okay so this is one thing uh, just before we jump into the uh, other objects let's see how can we print an array okay any questions here you guys are very slow in answering come on got to be fast i need dynamic programmers not static programmers what do you say